Hi, everyone, welcome to Style3D channel. In this video, you will learn how to export an animation in ABC file format from the Style3D studio and render it in Blender. Let's get started. Because animation production takes a considerable amount of time, I'll open a pre-prepared project file with animation here. We can see that the animation has already been created by dragging the progress bar. I'll shorten the duration of the animation a bit to facilitate a quick export later. Take a look at the animation settings to see if there are any issues. Set the frame rate for exporting the video to 30 frames per second. Now open the UV editor in the toolbar. Here, we can see the UV layouts for all clothing pieces. Check all the options here. Click on Arrangement and the software will automatically arrange the UV layouts for all clothing pieces neatly. Once everything is prepared, you can export the file in ABC format. Here, we need to check Unified UV Coordinates and select Baking All Map. After the ABC file is exported, you will be able to see the corresponding clothing material textures in the folder. Now let's export the OBJ file again. Similarly, check Unified UV Coordinates here and select Baking All Map and Export 2D Trim. Finally, check the Save with Texture Files Zip option. Blender, go. Press the A key to select all, then press X to delete. Import the prepared ABC file. In the manual transform options, change the scale value to 0.01. Press the R key, then press Y, and enter minus 90 to align the character. Enter material preview. We can see many material spheres here but we don't need so many for the clothing material editing. Therefore, we need to adjust the material spheres for the clothing. Click on one of the clothing models. Press Tab to enter Edit Mode. Press A to select all points, and in the Material Properties, click Assign. Then move the mouse back to the viewport and click Tab to return to Object Mode. Click Remove and Used Slots here. We can see that the unnecessary material spheres have been deleted. Perform the same operation on the other parts of the clothing. Here, it's important to make sure to exit edit mode before deleting material spheres. After adjusting the materials, let's enter UV editing to check if the UV distribution is correct. Select all the clothing. Press Tab to enter Edit Mode, and press A to select all. This way, you can view the UV distribution of the clothing. Go back to Layout, open Shader Editor. Click on Use Nodes. Click Edit and open Preferences. Click Add-ons. In the search box, search for Node and check Node, Node Wrangler. Click on the Principal BSDF panel and press Ctrl plus Shift plus T to import the clothing materials that were exported along with the ABC file into Blender. We can see that at this point, the clothing material has been correctly added. At this point, let's unzip the previously exported zip file that came along with the OBJ file. We can see that it contains many texture maps. Let's start adding materials to the model now. First, enter UV editing to check if the model's UV distribution is correct. Begin adding materials and edit them according to different parts of the avatar. Press Shift plus A to create a new image texture. Click Open, and in the search box, look for Body. Find the texture with Body underscore D in the name and import it. Connect the color node of the image texture to the base color node of the principal BSDF. Create another image texture. Import the texture with underscore N in the name. Press Shift plus A to create a normal map node. Connect it to the normal node of the principal BSDF following the steps shown in the video. Create another image texture. Import the texture with underscore S in the name. 
connected to the sheen node of the principled BSDF. If you notice any texture display errors at this point, change the color space of the normal part to non-color. Create another image texture. Then, create a displacement node. Connect the displacement node following the steps shown in the video. Find and import the texture with underscore G in the name. We can see that at this point, the avatar's skin is displaying correctly. Adjust the color space of the displacement node as well. Next, edit the next material. We can enter edit mode, click select, and see which part this material corresponds to. Similar to before, create a new image texture, find the corresponding texture, and import it. Here, you only need to connect it to the base color node. We can see that the eyes are now displayed. Continue editing the next material. Editing the eyebrow material requires attention to the use of the transparency map. Import the texture with mask in the name. Connect it to the alpha node of the principled BSDF. In the material properties, find the blend mode and shadow mode options in the settings section and change both to alpha clip. We can see that the eyebrows are now correctly displayed. Next, import the normal map and follow the same connection method as before. The following steps are essentially similar. Add each material one by one. Here, we need to add materials for the teeth and tongue, which use the same texture as the face. We can check if the UVs for the teeth and tongue are correctly placed in UV editing. Next, we will add materials for the hair. It's worth mentioning that there is a model outside the hair to prevent clipping. When applying materials, you can set its alpha value to zero to prevent it from being visible. Proceed with the same settings as before.
Next is the addition of materials for various accessories. Since they don't have corresponding exported textures, we can directly edit the materials in Blender. We can increase the transmission value a bit for the lenses. Add lighting and check the results in rendered mode. Adjust the metallic value for the shoe soles. Material editing is completed. Enter rendered mode to check. It's worth noting that if we are using the Cycles render engine, Without proper settings, the display of eyebrows and hair may not be correct. In render properties light pass max bounces, increase the value of the transparent property. We can see that everything is displaying correctly now. Check if the animation is playing correctly. If everything is working fine, we can start building the scene. Edit the materials for the scene. Once everything looks good, add a camera. Press N to bring up the menu, then check the Camera to View option in the View section. Enter Camera View and adjust the angle. We can open Depth of Field, and for the Focus object, you can choose Avatar. Finally, check the rendering and export settings. For video export, you can choose FFmpeg video. You can adjust other settings according to your needs. Here, I'll use the default settings. Set the frame rate for video export to 30 frames per second. Choose the export path. Press F12 to render an image and check the rendering result for a single frame. If everything looks good, you can render the animation and export it. Now, it's time for the lengthy rendering process. After rendering is complete, you can view the final product in view animation, and the video file is also saved locally. That's it guys, and I hope some of the tips will help your modeling work. If you like what we do, please liking, commenting, and sharing this video. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you in next video. Goodbye.